So on today's video, we're going to be a bit like Jesus and we're going to turn plastic into metal. So we've already shown you this part of the build, um, but today we're going to focus on this engine mount. So we 3D printed this engine mount and we went through quite a few different revisions. But I won't bore you with the details. So long story short, we've ended up with this design here, which I'm happy with. Uh, we've got all the clearance we need now. We've got clearance down the back. Uh, clearance is tight here, but we've managed to get it done. So the eventual plan would be, um, funds pending, would be to get that uh, complete engine mount machined out of aluminium. But for the time being, uh, we just need something that's a bit more sturdy than uh, the plastic. Um, and I also need to get rid of this engine bar so I can then focus my attention on this mountain down here. So uh, yeah, so I've gone for the laser cutting option. So let me just go and show you the profiles. So these are the laser cut profiles that we're gonna be using. Um, so everything's cut from 10 mil mild steel. Um, it wasn't really cost effective to have this single piece done out of uh, 30 mil fixed steel. So we've stacked up a load of 10 mil plates instead. Uh, these are the parts which go on to the actual engine mount casing, the bushing. Um, and then, uh, pop this, one. this sort of goes on there. And then we've just got this little bit of support piece which comes at the back to uh, add a bit of triangulation in, to, in there. Um, yeah, obviously with a machine part, but a bit more, I don't know, a bit more free ability to put a bit more support in there. but. Uh, this will do for now. So uh, first part is, let's get some welded up. So let's uh, have a welding montage. the mount bolted to the engine with all three bolts so the next step we've got to do is we've got to just bolt these to this piece here it goes in like so and then we can then mark up where we've got to weld these onto the bus tube And there we have it, one engine mounted. So yeah, um, it warped a bit as expected with steel, um, but not enough that we couldn't get it in, but uh, really happy with that. So yeah, now we've got the engine brace removed, we'll, in a, in a future video, we'll tackle this mount here. So that's the engine mounted. Not sure what we'll do next, but we'll short do a video on it. So yes, for everyone asking, them engine mounts will be available once we've done the front one, and it'll be available as a package so you can put the engine in your micro. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video, in a bit.